We came here to some of the neighborhoods hardest hit by the heroin epidemic in the city of Cincinnati, talking to community leaders and even a recovering addict about why this information is so important. Because I came from 124 pound, fragile, was on the verge of death. A year ago, recovering addict Ricky Hughes lived for the next high. The bottom for me was, uh, I guess I could say catastrophic. I mean, his choice of drugs were pills and alcohol. Now he's part of an effort to find and help other addicts. He says the data on heroin overdoses compiled by the city of Cincinnati could have a dramatic impact on finding the best ways to respond to users in crisis and find the services they need. Because we could sit here, you know, and say, you know, the hair, there's a heroin epidemic. We need to do something about it. But if we don't have the precise information or where, what we need to know or where to go, you know, it's like finding a needle in a haystack. There are needles throughout the tri-state area. No community is immune. But the caseload in Cincinnati is extraordinary. Nearly 1,400 heroin overdoses have been reported in the city so far this year. These are the neighborhoods with the most overdoses. West Price Hill, Westwood, East Price Hill, the Central Business District, Riverfront, and over the Rhine. The data is compiled and organized by city employees. It includes the location, time of day, day of the week, and month, as recorded by city emergency crews. The information stored by the city could also help police focus on the worst trafficking areas and the people selling heroin. It's hard, it's a challenge to hone in on what, who those people are or how to get them. Shantae Stallworth Schramm is the president of the Westwood Civic Alliance. You know, one of the things that's happened in our community is people are working together to fight it. Mrs. Stallworth Schramm says the city's data will provide even more help. And I think the city doing this is a big thing. Ricky Hughes says this new approach gives an even more detailed roadmap for success. Having that information to me is crucial. You can see the 10 neighborhoods in the city of Cincinnati that have the most heroin overdoses in the last year by going to our website, wcpo.com. Craig Cheatham, 9 on your side.